Good morning guys. So in today's video, we have a massive whatnot stream that we're doing today. And I thought, you know what? To bring everyone along, let's show you kind of the ins and outs and how you know I sort of go about streaming and how it sort of works. Today we've got a big one, we've got a really big one today. Probably got about 1500 pounds worth of stuff and it's like right in front of me. So what we'll do, we'll go over sort of the ins and outs of how the stream's gonna go today. Hopefully, you know, we sell out and we do really well today and that's the plan and also, show you how much we can make from it sort of what's involved all that stuff as well so let's start off by showing you what we've got in today's stream in today's stream this is going to be the prizes that we've got we've got the dream league booster box with the lily and the fairy psa 9 with the blastoise deck we do have a psa 10 the aerodactyl v art we've got first edition arceus hollow psa 10 the psychic one i do like these sort of ones as well like they got like electric they got basically all of all the different types it's so cool we've got the gold star 25th anniversary umbreon psa 10. we do have this lovely gem 10 obviously the alt art from 151 mu ex these are some of my favorite sort of artwork packs it is the cp6 japanese packs we've got a lovely sylveon v max alt art as well we've got a glaceon v alt art and a psa 10 We've got the VMAX, the AV Heroes Japanese VMAX um, boost, like, sort of like a VMAX box basically, but they're cool, comes with the AV Heroes Japanese packs. I think it's about 10, 8 or 10 of them, I can't remember, it says on the back. And then we have this one, this is the Moonbrion. But with this Moon Room, we're going to actually use it as a buyer's giveaway. We have also got our little instant prizes as well for those that get in. And then basically these are the tickets with all the names on there. So when we start stream, obviously, so everything's on screen, we'll have a nice little shuffle of this. And then what we'll do is we'll just spread them out. And then whoever gets a ticket throughout the day, you can just pick a random one. So it's totally random. So if you're going to offer this stuff, we also need to show you the flaws. So this is the kind of stuff what you you know likely going to hit as well. If you're getting in a lot, you're more than likely going to hit at least one of these as well. So let's have a little quick look at something. So in this one in particular, the way I've done it, put two singles in there. The singles can vary; it can be completely different. So you're probably talking about two to three pound um, per single, and then two booster packs. And the booster packs could be Korean, it could be Japanese, and it could be Chinese. It could be a bit of anything. Today we have gone for the Chinese ones. We did get two booster boxes. We got the Tag Bolt Chinese version and then we also got the Eevee and Snorlax the Chinese version as well. So there are two full booster boxes. So people do get a chance, obviously, of getting a secret rare as well because we do that. So I think sometimes the packs can be a little bit missing, you know, like, um, what's the word? Underrated. But at the same time, obviously, this is the realism as well. If you want to offer this stuff, you do also have to put in the flaws. But that is the sad truth, basically. You've got to obviously have your flaws to balance off the ceiling. So then you bring it up to an average spot, which sounds pretty obvious. But some people online don't seem to understand that. You know, at the end of the day, we, like I said before, we're not charities. We're here to make money at the end of the day. But we're also here to provide entertainment. Now, with this sort of stuff, I would highly recommend if you're new to the hobby, do not get into stuff like this. This is a lot more for like people who are a little bit more in the hobby for the last couple of years, a bit more seasoned, stuff like that. The reason being is because they will understand the prices of these products as well and might be able to resell them on or whatever. If you're new to the hobby and you don't really sort of know what these things are, then there's just no point in you getting in really. It's better just to go over to like maybe the one pound single streams, stuff like that. You can pick some really good deals in and work your way up, you know what I mean? Start to learn about the product, start to see what's worth, see the value of stuff, and then it'll work out for you later on. We do have a lot of people that get in and get really lucky with stuff like this, and it does make it really fun. But, and this is the big, you know, disclaimer, it is gambling. At the end of the day, this is gambling. That's what it is, you know, there's no way to put it, like you can't sugarcoat it. You are gambling on hoping that you're gonna hit a top prize. And basically, you're going to either get burns or you could get lucky. So let's get into the juicy stuff then, shall we? Let's tell you how much we've got everything and how we've worked it out. In today's stream, we've got it for £45 per spin. We've got 55 spots in this one. So some people do 100, 150. I mean, some people do like hundreds, you know what I mean? You can do whatever, however many you want. Personally, for me, I just enjoy doing the smaller spot wheels. I prefer it. Gives easier odds, and yeah, it's just it just gets done a lot quicker. Out of that 55 spots, we have 11 top prizes. Now, 
as well as the 11 top prizes we have our buyers giveaway on top as well which is another one so 12 and then we've got five instant wins in this one so that's 17 overall sorts of top ones that you could hit or ones that you'd rather hit over the floor as well as then 39 floors so 55 spots we've got obviously got our buyers giveaway as well remember that one so that'll bring it up maybe if you want 56 um, and then obviously we do it that way but we don't really count obviously it's 56 spots because the buyers giveaway is just an added extra so we still have 55 so whatever we have overall on screen you should see a number that's how much it all costs now dividing that by 55 and that'll leave us with an average price then so that's how we work out sort of our average now the way you work out obviously the prices of stuff as well if you are pricing it from ebay so if you were to you know buy it off ebay or sell it on ebay or whatever that's sort of the price that i'd be looking to sell it at and um, sometimes you might you know comps can be up and down if i'm selling it on whatnot i've got to take fees into consideration so that's why i might put like an extra 10 pound on on certain products or whatever just to kind of like take off that fees that's that's sort of how i would work it some people though and there are very a lot of dishonest people and whatnot they kind of over exaggerate the prices so always be very careful about that as well make sure you do your own research now to state the obvious if you don't know this obviously now you know we're not in this stuff for that price obviously we wouldn't be able to make money if we were in this for that price some of this stuff i've had for years which is a you know blessing because obviously i've got it a lot cheaper some of this stuff i've got in bulk deals or i might have bought from japan or other you know other websites where i can get it a little bit less which is good so that's something that you need to obviously make sure is yes this is how we work out our average our prices stuff like that but you don't want to be in it as the seller as the streamer you don't want to be in it for those prices because well then you're not going to make any money so always make sure you know when you're buying products and you're buying a lot of top prizes stuff like that for streams you're probably trying to get it in a bulk deal and um, that's something that obviously helps bring that average down then for you then so then you can offer these prizes and um, still make a little bit of money that's obviously what we want to be doing so overall if we did sell out you should see a price on screen now because we're posting this after the stream we will show you what we're going to actually end up making overall it's going to be interesting because obviously i'm filming this before the stream and it's going to be super interesting to sort of see what happens after the stream so yeah hopefully fingers crossed we do sell out and we do you know have a really fun stream fun day we're not on too long but we are prepared to be on for quite a while today to get this done to tell you like you know it's it's ne it's nerve-wracking it is i'm not gonna you know beat around a bush sometimes stuff like this is nerve-wracking you do worry like will people buy in will people get in is anyone going to be interested you know will people complain or you know what what it might be so yeah i do get a little bit anxious that's 100 percent honesty from me there as well but at the same time you know you're never going to learn and you're never going to grow if you don't try these things so it's something to always push yourself for and hopefully this video can inspire you guys to maybe push yourselves and maybe try and get into you know being a bit entertaining being a streamer and stuff like that here are the tickets we've got no numbers everything's in these so i mean let, we're gonna shuffle them up anyway so the way it works this is what they're gonna look like the prize will say on the front what it is obviously there's no funny business you can't sell anything here so what we're gonna do we're gonna just shuffle them up and whoever gets a ticket today you just get to pick a random one and you can let me know if you want to respin this one or the next one obviously it depends what we get right do you want to respin this one the respin always rinses me oh, right okay let's just pick one from random here we go oh man right let's pick another random one you know what? let's go with the one of these ones so i've got nine of these ones but these are sick if you can get the altar ev snorlax that be oh i thought we had something then i shit myself right, let's get the vmax i always forget what that pokemon's called vmax in that one okay hollow moltres come on that mean anything else right okay not in them ones right i think we've got one more we do Ooh, <laughs> we do kyoga latios look at that color as well it can be graded as well lad see kane's nice we can put kane's message in there we go three again retros dropped 5x so this is how it can go sometimes right so one two three next one this is tactical now tactical let's see Oh, so we've got 10 tickets there. We've got another, we've got a ticket out already, right? So let me know a number between one and 10. It's totally up to you. It says ticket 10, but they're not numbered. That's why I don't want them to be numbered because um, I want it to be as random and anything as possible. 
Let's see, imagine we get another one now. <laughs> I'm getting rinsed! Another ticket's out. Oh, sh I'm cooked. I'm cooked. <laughs> oh, no! Our retro, so it's paid off for you now. It's starting to pay off for you already. So, guys, get yourselves in. For me. Right, one, two, three, four. Right, it's number four. But to be fair, though, the odds are one in, like, three or four, so we kind of hit the odds anyway. So it makes sense. I'm not going to lie. Let's get another lane. We'll do one of each. So we got these. Right, so... Oh, nice. You get the Blastoise. Sick. We got the Blastoise and then the uh, electric energy from that one. So, mate, you f cleaned up. We got an instant. We got two tickets. Insane, mate. Insane, you know. Two tickets as well. You know what's mad? The more we open of these, if we're opening every single floor right now, someone's going to be walking away with an SR. So it might even get to a point where it's like... You might want to be like, okay, well, even if I hit the floor, I want these open because I've got a feeling something's going to come out. Oh, that's sick. Exactly. Right, lad, no way. <laughs> he just won. Instant prize. Lad, the rocket sneak. Oh, my God, mate. Look at that. <laughs> so, Highlander with the rocket sneak attack. Again, super minty. So, Highlander just walked away with the rocket sneak attack as an instant win. What a lovely one that is. That's one, two, three, four, five out so far. Right, so we're 50 minutes through, and we've already got 14 spots down with four or five, actually five tickets down. So I'm getting absolutely rinsed, and this is what can happen as well. So the respin option seems to be the thing that, like, yeah, take two. <laughs> Action. <laughs> See, it's so hard to film a video and also interact and, like, no user, user watching as well. These are the packs that we've got so far, and we've got a full booster box of each. And just like that... We've just hit a massive SR in the packs. This is why some of the floors, when you do packs, can be a massive payoff. Oh my God, gems. Oh, I didn't even know this was in this set. So we just had Retro drop 10X, and he wants us to do a one pound start, sudden death. So you know what? To please the people. Okay, we're meeting in the middle, doing 15 seconds. Sudden death. It's a two pound. And oh, nah, use a rat, you know. Use actually rats. Use a rat. I'm not doing that again. 21 pound. Use a rat, you know. <laughs> I'm doing it for you because it's fun. And we're having fun here. Retro, he's just kept it. So we done well there. Retro has smashed out all of that. He's got two instants, two tickets, and all that. Well, we've got Retro buying another set. He's got seven spins, basically. He's bought a five spinner, two respins. One ticket remains. We're going to full send it now. I think we're done now. This is going to be over. Right, two down, three to go, but we've got five technically. If it's not a ticket, you're going to respin, aren't we? So... Oh. It's over! <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. It's over. <laughs> Trunk has just got the last one. Right, so we got the reveal. So we're two down so far. We've got the Mew EX down, and we did get a Sylveon down. So next up is going to be the Aerodactyl. Let's see what we get. Let's see who's going to be winning the Aerodactyl V PSA 10. Aerodactyl V PSA 10. It's going to be Retro. That is for Retro, that one. Umbreon Gold Star PSA 10. Right, you ready? Who's taking home the Umbreon Gold Star? It's a lovely one, this one. Traveling! That is for you, bro. Well done, well done. Arceus PSA 10. Arceus PSA 10. This one's a lovely one, this one. Three, two, one. Kane! <laughs> Kane! Kane, you were close, mate, with the other ones. But Kane, you got this one. We've got the Blastoise deck up next. Blastoise deck. You ready? Retro! That is for you, mate. Well done. You've got the EV Heroes VMAX box. That is a big one to be winning. That is a big one to win that one. Japanese, he's got one more left as well. He's still in the race. So we've got the Glaceon PSA 10 next. Three, two, one. Oh, retro. That is for you, mate. Well done, that is a lovely one, that one. So we've got this one up next, the Lily and Clefairy. And it's gonna be traveling. Traveling, well done, mate. That's a big one, that one, you know. That's probably, like, the second biggest one. CP6 pack. Wait, Gems is left. Bro, Gems is always lucky. If Gems has actually hit the booster box right now, it's actually going to be so mental. <laughs> right, you ready? Three, two, one. Retro! Wait, 
Retro! Oh my god, Retro won the booster box! Retro won it! <laughs> yes, me! Oh my god, and Gem's got the CP6 Japanese pack. Oh my god! And we still have the buyers give you as well. Retro's just won the box. Has gone to Retro. Insane. Insane. Insane, man. Who's got it? Gems is... Oh, my God. Bro. Gems is luck, man. Gems. Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> Hey, Gems, I'll buy this off you for 99p. That's a good bargain. <laughs> oh, my God. We might be opening this CP6 pack right now on stream. So, oh, this is going to be sick. Gems, thank you so much. Retro, thank you even more as well. This is going to get opened right now. Is the hollow at the front on these ones? Or is it put to the back? Okay, let me just look there quick. No, okay, it's not at the front. Okay. Right, we got the Tangler. This looks sick. Right, we got the rat. Oh my god, this feels mad, you know. I feel like I'm open like a vintage pack as well. This is crazy. We got the seal. We got the Starmie. What are we gonna get, man? What are we gonna get? Good luck, retro. We've just gotten. The Mew Hollow in our CP6 pack. Bro! Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, that is still so nice though. If you get that, if you grade that though and it grades well, that is still a good one, man. Guys, thank you so much. Retro, you smashed it today as well, mate. Honestly, you really did. Everyone that bought, bought spots, every single one is even Highlander. Thank you so much, guys. Honestly, it was mad. So, we have just finished our stream now that probably went better than i ever expected it to be i was fully prepared to stay on for like 10 hours and we were only on for about i think like three hours and a half something like that so it was actually amazing i had such a good time like honestly like that's the good thing i love about streaming is you, you have like a lot of nice people come in people just want to enjoy themselves getting involved and that that is exactly what happened. My voice is absolutely destroyed from just talking for ages as well. Probably want to know how much did we make off this stream? Now looking at it, we sold £2,117 worth of items. We did unfortunately still have some flaws and an instant win left. So that is the risk that you run when you do ticket stuff, is the tickets can just come out straight away. Now the good thing is obviously if you have tickets towards the end and there's a load of them, you know what I mean? You might be able to make a little bit more. But obviously, unfortunately for us, a lot of the tickets are coming out with a start, which just happens. It is what it is. And that is the risk as obviously a seller that you take. So you've kind of got to just like figure out what to do as well with that sort of stuff. When you, you know, have like five, six tickets come out in the first couple of spins, you're like, oh God, what's going to happen now? So it just happened. But luckily we had the buyers giveaway. So what we kind of done is like, cut the price in half a little bit and then allowed people to maybe get in as well just to try and get involved in the buyers giveaway so obviously we didn't want to do it too low to kind of affect those that did buy in and paid a little bit higher but we also wanted to just make sure we could try and get rid of a few extra bits as well so was amazing time it was an amazing stream like i said we made 2117 now minus whatnot fees we currently have £1,873. So that is £244 that Whatnot just take on their fees, which is quite a lot to be honest. But it is what it is. These things happen. So future Matty is going to come back to you. He's going to have a little look. I need to rest right now. My throat and everything, my voice is just gone. But he's going to work out all the profits, tell you how much sort of we're in the stuff for. And obviously, with us still having this many flaws and stuff like that left, how much? You know we made if we did make any profit so future matty it's up to you now right it's future matty here now we've went over the numbers basically we were in all of the stuff for roughly about 1452 pounds i mean you got to give or take a little bit but you know pretty much rounding up on certain products and stuff like that trying to remember rough prices but i know we got certain things like the dream league box for example i think we got the dream league box for about 150 pounds like could even be a little bit less to be honest at the time we were buying them and um, but obviously i like to be a little bit more conservative a little bit more higher just to be safe as well so 
1,452 on everything that we obviously got. We made 1,873 pounds. So that gives us round about 420, 120-ish like pounds profit. So you're probably looking percentage-wise maybe around 25 to 30 percent profit maximum as well which is good that's sort of what we kind of want to aim for sometimes especially on the big ones on the smaller ones it'll be a little bit less but on the big ones it's kind of what we want to aim for which is always a solid uh, margin hopefully you enjoyed this video then it was definitely a step out of my comfort zone to do this sort of thing it's not something i'm used to we definitely probably missed out a few things and we probably could have explained things a little bit better but hopefully you get the idea um, there's definitely some things that I would love to be able to include next time. I think if I can include, obviously, the stream video as well, try and do that next time. That's one thing I probably would have done a little bit differently. But, you know, we live and we learn. Hopefully you enjoyed the way it, you know, way it was. You got to see sort of behind the scenes of everything that I'm doing here as well, which is always a fun thing. Right, until then, see you on the next video.